Hi, I'm Leslie Abbott with the Toneway Project. Often people feel they can't sing, and it's not that they can't sing, it's just that they're singing in a key not good for their own vocal range. If music is written out in a particular key, you're kind of stuck unless you transpose, and transposing music can get complicated. But with the numbering system, often called the Nashville number system, it makes it a snap to change a key and get something good for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. In lesson one, we played Shady Grove. Take a look here. You see to the right of the title, you see a one. Now what does that mean? Let's say we want to play our song here in the key of C. We're in the key of C. That means our one chord is a C. Our root chord is a C. Our root chord is so essential, we call it the one chord. So, I'll play just a moment of Shady Grove in the key of C. Because our one chord is a C, I'm making our C chord. Shady Grove, my little love, Shady Grove, my darling. say we want to play it in the key of G. Now our one chord is no longer a C, our one chord is a G. Our root chord is a G. The key we're in is G. This will be low. Shady Grove, my little love, Shady want to sing it in the key of D. What is your one chord? Right, your one chord is no longer a C, it's not a G, it's a D. Your root chord is a D. The key you're in is D. But let's say you want to play it in the key of B flat. Your one chord is B flat. Shady Grove, my little love. Your root chord is B flat. The key you're in is B flat. Okay, now let's go on to our next song that has a one chord and a five chord. In our last two videos, we played Handsome Molly. One time we played it in the key of C and the next in the key of G. Take a look here. To the right, of the title Handsome Molly, there's a one and there's a five. These are the chords we're using. Now what does this mean? Handsome Molly takes two chords. It takes a one chord and a five chord. So how do we find out what our five chord is? Very easy. Hold up our hand and we make our thumb our one chord. If we're in the key of C, our one chord is a C. I'm going to count up. C, D, E, F, G. G is our five chord. See, this is a one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger, five. One chord, five chord. So, C, D, E, F, G. To play Handsome Molly in the key of C, we need a C chord and a G chord. Remember? Sailing round the ocean, sailing round the sea. Think of Handsome Molly, wherever she may be. I used a one chord and a five chord. There, because it's in the key of C, my one chord is a C, I played it in the key of C and then changed to a G chord for my five chord. When we played it in the key of G, our one chord is now a G, 
Now we want to find out what's our five chord. Hold up my hand. G, A. After a G, there's no H. It goes around again to an A. G, A, B, C, D. So on my pinky, the fifth, um, my fifth finger, I guess, <laughs> the five chord is a D. Now we're going to play this song in the key of G. Sailing round the ocean, sailing round the, to my five chord, C. Think of handsome Molly, wherever she may. Back to my one chord, B. Makes it very easy. Keys of B, E, and F don't work so well unless you know more about half steps and whole steps. So don't worry about it now. We'll save that for later. Now let's say I want to sing this song in the key of D. I want it a little higher than C. So my one chord is now a D. The key we're in is now D, the key of D. Our root chord is D. So, in, for Handsome Molly, we need a five chord too. So, D, E, F, G, and A. So we need a D and an A for that song. A D and an A. Sailing round the ocean, sailing round the sea. Think of handsome Molly, wherever she may be. In the next video, we're going to be playing a three chord song. It's called Worried Man Blues. Take a look. Worried Man Blues takes a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. So let's say we want to sing this song in the key of C. We know our one chord, it's a C, because we're in the key of C. Now we need our four chord. So our C is our one chord, D, E, F is on my fourth finger, ring finger here. So our four chord is an F, and then our five chord, we know already from before, but our five chord is a G. C, D, E, F, G. C, F, and G. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Now my four chord, F. Takes a worried man to sing a worried, back to my one chord, song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried. Now I need my five chord, which is a G. Now, but I won't be worried long. All right. Let's say we don't want to sing it in C, we want to sing it in G. So we hold up our hand. Our one chord is no longer C, it's G. So G, A, B, C is our four chord on the fourth finger here, on the ring finger. C and then on the pinky, our fifth finger is D. G, A, B, C, and D. So, our one chord is now a G. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Now I'm going to switch to my four chord, which is now a C. 
takes a worried man to sing a worried. I'm going to go back to my one chord, G. Song takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried. Now, now is my five chord, which is A, D. Sing the song in the key of D. One chord, D. E, F, G. Our four chord is now a G, and our five chord is an A. So you see how this works? Pretty easy. In the next screen, I'll put up a chart. You can print it or pause it or do both. So you pick the key you want to sing in. Let's say you pick the key of G. So the G is in the middle. To the left is the four chord and to the right is the five chord. Let's say you want to sing the song in the key of A. So the A is in the middle. To the left is going to be your four chord. It's a D. To the right is your five chord. It's an E. And so on. So you can play any of these songs in any of these keys. You'll see that it makes it very easy. Now with the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, you can play hundreds of thousands of songs. The reason for this is within those three chords, every tone in the major scale is there. I'll tell you why. This may bore some of you, but I'll, I'll be quick. Take a look at the tone wheel. The one chord is made up of a one tone, a three tone, and a five tone. The four chord is made up of a four tone, a six tone, and a one tone. The five chord is made up of a five tone, a seven tone, and a two tone. So you see that every tone in the major scale is used. So that covers quite a bit of territory. The melody can go many places, but you'll have the chord to play to cover the tones that are needed. I encourage you to play around with a song you know. For instance, You Are My Sunshine. It takes three chords, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Now it's going to start on the one chord. Remember that 99% of songs start on the one chord, so you're a lot of the way there already. So if you choose to sing it in the key of C, your one chord is going to be a C. Your four chord is an F, and your five is a G. Play your one chord and start playing. At some point you feel this chord no longer works. I need another chord. Well, it's most likely going to be either a four chord or a five chord. You are my sunshine. be a four chord or a five chord. Have, no, it's not my five chord. Have, that's my four chord. Happy what skies are. Great. Need to change. No. Great. That's my one chord. So I'm just showing you I experiment and try to try to pick out a song using these chords. Let's say you don't want to sing it in C, you want to sing it in G. So our one chord is going to start on a G. And our four chord, C. And our five chord, D. Stay tuned for the next video 
where we'll play and sing Worried Man Blues and pick out its melody. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please write me through Toneway.com. Happy playing! <laughs>